just made a video about hesitation in artwork, and I'll put that, ooh, is it here? I always get my, I can't, I'm like dyslexic, I don't know which way it goes. Anyway, I'll put it up there, <laughs> and um, but I also want to move into the energy and the emotion of what I was talking about in regards to hesitation and um, taking that step forward and I know what the fear is really like to try to come into um, relationship with ourselves right and like maybe we have that hidden part and we want to bring it forward and um, we're worried about the acceptance piece and the rejection piece and the abandonment and I know that oh so well um, because I've been worried about that most of my life um, but then when it starts happening to you in real lifetime, you start to realize something deeper about it, um, and it's it's more about like turning deeper into the self and um, moving into the direction of what you really desire, um, and that can only be individual. Of course, it enters into relationship, but you can't really force the situation or it, it doesn't really work <laughs> um kind of just crumbles and um and it also has to be what two people in a dynamic that choose to like have a conversation a real conversation um so after many many years of, like a lifetime of all of these situations continuously happening what I've seen for myself is that it's fucking hard for one <laughs> I think you can swear on YouTube this isn't for children that's for sure I don't even know if it's for adults <laughs> it's for you the right ones who resonate with this message because I'm just coming from wherever I'm not I'm not trying to write a script or make up a story maybe I should but I'm just trying to be like like in the raw realness of it and that's kind of how I like my art mm. anyway <laughs> but and I noticed like if I could just turn that into what I do there's something there at least it feels potent and like high in my body and you know good like it feels like yeah <laughs> so I'm trying to follow this directive into everything I do. Um, it includes talking, writing, speaking, teaching, creating online courses, and also, um, you know, making these conversations. <laughs> um, maybe I'm also just helping myself. Who knows? Um, but it's always a reflection in a mirror back, right? So um, we can run or we can choose to, like, face it. It's all up to us, um, and um, sometimes when we start to face it, we start to really see, oh yeah, these are the things that have really been in the way my whole life, <laughs> you know, the fear, the hesitation, the abandonment, the rejection piece, um, and what I notice for myself over time is when you start to, well, come online and align with stuff, you know, everything is like popping out of you, and Ooh, this doesn't feel right, or this feels really right, but I don't know how to keep it. And, you know, it's just like a myriad of issues. Um, so when we're losing our identity through this process of realization, there's like a, a groundlessness that happens. And um, it's okay, you know. Um, we're always trying to grasp to be there now, but where are we really going? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> um, we think like there's this like ideal and really there's just what's in front of us and what's inside of us and what we're interacting with. Um, and um, it's kind of like about working out those old patterns and stories and the things we've been hooked into. And sometimes life gives us the opportunity to really look and see what's going on. Um, but the tendency is to like, ooh, like, I can tense up, like everything, including the thought, and um, run. 
<laughs> you know, um, you, and you don't have the conversation that you needed to have, and you, um, you know, just project whatever it is onto the other person, and um, we do that with ourselves too. You know, we attach to that story from who knows how long ago and um, bring it into like even the creative work and it, it gets sticky and it gets stuck and then if we attach too much to the mind and the story, um, it really can take us out, not just in art but in life. <sighs> I know that all too well, um, <laughs> but how do we like deal with the hesitation and the frustration, the abandonment, the rejection? And, um, you know, that need for, um, acceptance. Uh, and I guess, again, it's like dialing it back to ourselves and, um, accepting ourselves, right? And working on the allowing peace internally within. Um, and I know that, and I'm still actually going through that now, um, because life <laughs> is challenging and, um, you know, some things are out of our control. And so how do we like just reorient the body and the mind and the spirit and the heart and open up to more despite like what's needling us? Um, sometimes the like needles can be the deeper things that help with the opening, but we have to like kind of invite it in. And that can be scary if you're not used to, um, you know, um, facing whatever it is and like sometimes when we go into the creative work that stuff can arise um unconsciously naturally and um that's what we're like trying to pay attention to in this hesitation and this frustration is like what is really trying to come through and um why am i you know getting that <laughs> block um, what am I running from? And it doesn't have to be literally, it, it could be though, but what am I running from inside of myself? You know, and, um, how is that impacting, like, the next step forward, whether I want to show up and make an artwork, or I really want to make a deeper change in my life, <laughs> or, um, I really, you know, need to, what, X, Y, Z, whatever it is for you, because it really could be anything, um, and those are the harder moments, right, so that's usually when the fear arises, and, um, you know, when we are holding on to that, like the fear, the hidden stuff within us, in the body, like that's going to create all these other things, like, you know, eventually over time, you can't just really like live with holding it. I, I know this because I definitely <laughs> had to like address some things over the last few years that um were hidden and then once I revealed them, there was a big release of energy. Um, and, you know, that's happened multiple times over my whole life, actually, in a lot of different ways. And it's not how I expected. And then you move back out from that place. Um, and it's not easy. <laughs> it definitely isn't. Um, depending on what's impacted you and affected you in a deep way. Um, but what I noticed is I allowed myself to go even deeper this time around. And, um, really, like, oh, I don't even know how to explain what was happening. Um, just decompose, metaphorically. <laughs> and, um, that death, really, then there becomes, like, this rebirth, um, and for lack of better words. And, um, you move on from where you were. Um, hopefully, right? It doesn't mean that it's not there. And I think that's the thing. Sometimes we just say, just let it go. But something's deeply impacted you and really touched you and moved you or um, been a part of you. It doesn't just, like, go away. 
<laughs> you know, you have to work your way through it in all kinds of ways and find the right thing that works for you. But what I love about art making is, and I know this for a fact now, for sure, a hundred thousand percent that you really can show up to the moment, have the relationship with the work and create the connection that releases the energy and moves the emotion out of the body. And um, that is exciting. Um, and there's many ways to do that too, but I just like art making and, um, I think that's so powerful and, um, it could be so simple too. Uh, so I'm interested in about unpacking that more as I go forward in this channel, um, and um, trying to make it simpler in, in one way. Like if you're not like quote an artist that wants to sell the product, it doesn't mean you can't be an artist. <laughs> Because we're, to me, we're all artists, right? Here, living in creation. <laughs> anyway, that's another story for another day as well. But when we find that hesitation rising, and um, we try to cover it up with whatever it is, right? <laughs> and run away, you know, then we just create more fear and resistance. It's true. <laughs> um, so... And when that shows up in the work, that's kind of when we can shut down and shy away and think it's not working. But really, it has to be worked through all of these things. Um, so art making is an opportunity to start to take a deeper look and connect with ourselves and like move through all of that in the process. And um, that's what I'm here to help unpack and um, give voice to <laughs> as um, I continue on this channel. <laughs> um, so thank you for being here. And um, there's a lot more coming now that I'm feeling better. And i um, back in my Natalie modes 100% here. <laughs> um, almost, you know. It's never... 100% anything, I don't think, because, you know, life. <laughs> um, but we do the best we can and kind of carry on simultaneously um, within all of it. That's going to be another video coming soon. Um, but there's so much to say, and I know that I'm not short of words, so just stay tuned and keep creating. <laughs>